Let's take this image here real quick and let's just do a little bit of anatomy 101, shall we? Sure. So uh, what we're looking at here is the hair follicle under the skin, which is, of course, the coolest organ in the body, you know. Um, you've got about 150,000 of them on your head and about 5 million of them on your, uh, on your body. But uh, down here, the dermal papilla is where the, a lot of the action happens. That's where a lot of the multiplication of the cells are going on. Mm -hmm. One of the most metabolically active cell populations in the body are, is the base of the hair follicle that's producing the hair, which is then going to exit out from the skin. Okay. So of course, the hair itself, the fiber, is not alive, but the follicle, this whole organ, is. And right. we can see it's attached to blood flow. It's got its own nervous supply. It's got its own muscle, goosebumps are created that way. There you go. And it has uh, sweat glands, oil glands, all associated with it. All right, so I have a question here. Yeah. I'm gonna, because I know this actually extends a little bit, and I'm gonna be so specific of my question. Okay, sure. so here is the hair popping out of the scalp, right? Yes. Okay, why doesn't that little piece grow in my hair anymore? <laughs> that is the piece that bothers me, right okay. there. Right so here in the front, I lost a lot of hair, and I know a lot of people who are probably saying, yeah, Olga, I get it. And it just doesn't come out anymore, it just stops. Right. What happened? It used to. Right, so one of the main things that happens with hair loss is that the follicle doesn't stay in the growing phase as long as it should. Oh. So as a follicle miniaturizes over time, it gets weaker, thinner, wispier, that's where you see less pigmented hair, thinner diameter hair, but also it doesn't grow long anymore. So miniaturization is the hallmark of male and female pattern hair loss.